Hello, welcome to a video on how to use the Pro Ledger free app for iPhone and iPad. Now here's the main features we're going to look at in the video is basically with the apps you can add, edit, delete or view individual records as and you can attach and or take pictures of the receipts that will automatically attach to the entries and you can also view various reports with the apps. So let's take a look at the app and a few of the screens. So I'm going to show you the app on my full-size iPad and of course on your phone it's going to look narrower but on the iPad this is how the app will look and I'm just mirroring this for the sake of the video. Okay so when the um, when the app is loaded you're going to see the icon uh, with the uh, blue dollar sign and in the App Store you're going to want to search for money ledgers probably the quickest way to get to it and uh, you can also download the app uh, at the bottom of each of the web pages at proledgers.com there's uh, links for it there as well okay once you've installed the app you just open it up and you'll see the first screen is going to have a couple of options the first one you're going to notice is you're going to need to choose is the bookkeeping file that you're working on a t a tracking sales tax do you have a do you have the ledger program that uh, does not track sales tax and then you would use uh, no tax for that and uh, but if you have the ledger program where you're tracking and remitting at least one or two sales taxes to government authorities and if that bookkeeping file includes a, a tax component then you want want to change that setting to indicate that this file that you're going to be opening it does track taxes and we're talking about sales tax you know input taxes and so on so anyway once you've selected that to correspond with the bookkeeping file that you want to work with now we have three options you can log into your personal Dropbox account or your OneDrive account or your Google Drive account to access the bookkeeping file now this is assuming that you've already created the bookkeeping file on your computer and that you've put that file inside a Dropbox OneDrive or Google Drive folder on the computer and when you do that it will automatically sync so that you can log into your account here and access that file if you have more questions about how to do that on your computer watch our video on setting up your your uh, ledger program on multiple computers it's in our FAQ page and it'll tell you how to set that up but assuming you've got the file created it's sitting in one of those three places on your computer now we can access it here so let's say we're using Dropbox now the first time you use it it's going to ask you to log into your Dropbox account so uh, I didn't show you that but that'll be the first screen so you'll put your email address in and your password for your account and it would be the same uh, if you were choosing OneDrive or Google Drive okay so up shows our contents of our Dropbox account and for the sake of this video you're going to see I have three different uh, ledger files to work with you know we have the two tax file I have a one tax file I have a no tax bookkeeping file and you're going to notice that all bookkeeping files end in dot ledger so don't choose anything else choose a file that ends with dot ledger and you're going to notice also that for every file a, a folder gets created so these top where it says images at the end those get created for you when you're working with the program and so whenever you take an a picture of a receipt it goes into the one of the, into the corresponding folder for that bookkeeping file and this is all automatic but just so you're not confused that's why those three folders at the top are sitting there but anyway let's work with our file called it's going to be a one tax bookkeeping file just for the sake of you know for the uh, the video and we've already got some entries uh, that we've got in here and we can scroll through them just put your finger just sliding up and down and at the top you're going to notice that there's four filter buttons for months accounts categories and classes so if you just want to see entries for a particular month you just select it and you'll see just the January and you can use multiple filters and you can see what I just did for cash for January and you can turn off the filters by choosing all at the top and you can turn on all the months by choosing all months and so on and the same goes with categories you can see just what you spent on gas and oil for example and you can also choose 
any of these you know is it uh, general business is it personal you can f keep filtering as much as you would like so you can see how those top filter buttons work so you have this screen and then you have the, at the bottom you can choose the report screen and uh, if I just move this up a little bit you'll see at the bottom of the screen there's two buttons there's record and report and it flips between these two screens so same thing here you got the same four filters at the top and when you choose that the report automatic reflects the filters so these are all the reports are fully dynamic that way okay so let's go back to the record screen and in the record screen uh, we can see that if you want to sh look at a specific record uh, we can just tap on it so first of all you can see also that certain records you're gonna see has a little clip there and that shows that there's an image attached to the record so you can glance at that as well so let's go down and, and try a different entry. Uh, let's take a look at automotive gas and oil and just tap on it and you're going to see that it, it comes up. Okay, so now you're going to see that um, you know, we can go back to the previous screen at the top left and we can also look at the entry. All the fields are sitting there and at the bottom you're going to notice that there's the receipt manager button. So it doesn't matter if it's a new entry that you're making or an existing entry, you can use the receipt manager. And then at the bottom right, you see the little plus sign. That means you can add an image to the entry. And you're gonna notice now that at the bottom, there's three options. You can add an image, which is on your device. So something that you took a picture of already or have a PDF or some image that you wanna use or a screenshot. You can use the camera of the device to take a picture of the receipt or you can pick a file uh, through one of your storage accounts so if you chose pick file you can see I have a PDF in my uh, iCloud or my Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever and there's, there's various accounts you can choose from let's say I want to choose a image from my uh, Google Drive account and I just it'll just first time it'll ask me to log in and then I go down and just choose no I want to choose this SO PDF that I took with my scanner you know maybe in the past and now it's going to upload the uh, the image and you can see it's at the very top and you can continue uploading images you can have as many images for one entry as you would like and they'll be listed here so if you want to see the image now you just tap on it and you're gonna see that it comes up with a with a nice PDF you can scroll through it and you go back so let me go back to the main screen now top left and you're gonna see now I can choose the top right save and it's saving the uh, and, and now we we'll look at that entry and you can see that the entry has the paperclip and it shows that there's a there's an image attached to that particular entry when you look at the entry now you'll see the paper clip saying yeah there's a receipt attached to that entry so now what's happened is that image is attached to the entry and it's also put into the image folder for you for archiving okay so we've looked at the main things let's do one more thing let's let's do a brand new entry so hit the plus sign and here's a brand new entry and as you can imagine you just go through the uh, prompts so you pick your date Oh, and this is a 2017 file so I'm just gonna choose whatever date I want there and then you just follow the prompts let's say it's a MasterCard account and it's gonna be for general business and so on and let's say it's gonna be uh, advertising and you can also select pre-written descriptions that you might have created uh, already in this desktop software program or you can yeah, or you can add and edit those descriptions as well and I'm just going to type whatever and then uh, go down to the total field and you can type in let's say it was $120 and let's say there was a you know there was a tax on that you know, or you can manually put in that tax amount if it's not quite right with the calculated value it'll show you the net amount and and then you're 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 set to go just choose save at the top right when you're finished the entry and that's it so on the phone of course it looks a little more compact but it'll, it'll go pretty quickly uh, uh, once you've got things uh, once once you get used to the system so anyway the other thing I'm going to show you is uh, when you open an entry uh, you can just flip through them by
by swiping. You see at the top it says swipe for next and and then you can just swipe um, from one entry to the other and just with your finger uh, and that you'll be easily scroll through them that way and here in this main screen you can see swipe to delete so if, you, if there's an entry that you didn't like you can just swipe it and then choose delete and it'll be gone so anyway uh, there's the there's the features of the app and really that's all there's to it thanks for tuning in